What you just toured is Licho Koshkovo. It is the museum's first expansion in many years, and it is designed to be a hands-on, minds-on experience for children and those of us who never really grew up. It's really just an amazing walk through the West and the things that are important in the West um, in a playful but yet learning environment. This was the brainchild of the Annie Oakley Society, which is, is an organization within the museum. And they wanted to make sure that the museum and what the museum was trying to do was accessible to children. You know, so many times in, in, in old school museums, if you will, you'll see parents shushing their children and guards, you know, keeping people at bay from, from the art and the artifacts. And what the Annie Oakley Society wanted to do, and what its leaders wanted to do, was embrace the concept of of childlike wonder and excitement and and use that to to foster educational purposes so for the last 10 years they've been thinking about this and planning it and and really working um, towards the goal of of what we're getting ready to open and so um, they raised the money um, Kathy Keating uh, Lynn Fries and Judy Hatfield um, led that effort and raised the money for for this outdoor experience. It's a 15 million dollar expansion, if you will. And um, uh, every piece of it has been lovingly conceived um, in the hearts and minds of of the Annie Oakley Society. So it's really a very exciting. Event. It's not something that we thought of on Thursday and started building on Friday. Um, it really has been a, a, a very um, long-term, well-thought-out uh, endeavor. I want to see, and I know that the staff wants to see, how children really interact with it. I know how I would interact with it, but I'm old and it really needs to have a kid pounding on it, climbing on it, trying to, trying to wedge their tiny little bodies through holes, etc. Um, I need to see how it's going to be used and then make um, if, if, uh, corrections if necessary. I don't think there'll be corrections, but, but maybe modifications or ways to enhance the way a child might really learn. This is something that certainly is going to be new and exciting and it is going to give them an outlet for for the energy that that most children possess but it's also going to be in furtherance of, of of their education how does this sort of change the game for the museum going forward for people who are coming in as tourists but also for people here in the community museums are often looked at as institutions to stand and stare I'm going to stare at this and, and glean whatever information I, I can from either the curatorial side or from, from my own past experience. Um, what we're really looking for here is, is this, this new idea of interactivity that, that um, the user will interact with the exhibit. Um, make no mistake about it, while it looks like a really fun playground, it's an exhibit. So you're going to walk through Mesa Verde, and if you were, were an ancient Puebloan Indian, you would have seen something that looked just like this and have been able to crawl on it just like that. If you were cat in a Caddo family, you would, you would see that and experience it. If you lived in a sod house, you would walk through the same type of, of, of doors. If you were from Mexico and your family was engaged in, in rodeoing, you would see that same sort of thing. So it's not just reading about it and standing and looking at it. It's actually getting to, to, to jump into that life and, and experience it firsthand. 
Um, and that's what I, I hope happens. In the middle of all of this, there's going to be learning um, on, on things like history. Um, we're going to learn math. You're going to see a, um, a wagon out there and it's, it's placed on, on rocks that look like they're going up into the Rocky Mountains. And so there is a critical thinking skill as well as a math skill that gets taught there. Outside of that, you're going to see a barrel of flour, you might see a piano, you're gonna see clothes, you're gonna see, see uh, rugs and things like that. And so the question is, what do we take on this journey? Mom loves the piano, but the kids want to eat. So flower or piano, flower or piano. Um, and so that's a critical thinking skill. But then we also can use math in that, in that exercise. OK, the diameter of the wheel is this. Um, we know that a team of oxen or a team of horse can pull that. What do we need to do in order to get to the promised land? Or the next frontier. Um, so it's it really is an exciting opportunity. We have an oil derrick going up so natural resources are an incredibly important story of the West that kind of gets told in, in, in a small blurb. Well here they actually can get to live it. You know sometimes when we say the West we see this iconic uh, American grizzled cowboy and those certainly exist and, and, and they're extremely important but there's a place for for everyone in the West I mean I run this museum and I wear four inch stilettos and I know cowboy boots don't come in four inch stiletto boots the West is for everyone who crosses a new frontier and you can experience it right out there